deja vu. I'm up at the River Braffy and it's the same spot as the last video. Slightly different weather. Forecast said clouds and there is a few up there. We're going to be looking this way and you get the mist on the water. So what I want to do today is sort of a repeat of last, last week. I was sort of making it up as I went along last time and I know the exact spot that I want to be in today. That tree's still colourful. So I think we'll go there first, get set up and then have a think about what we can do next. I'm just on my way to my spot now and I'm just looking back at the tree that I want to photograph. And I want to get this icy, well, frosty grass. But if you look under the tree, it's um, thawed out under there. It might not have even frozen there. So I think we might not get the, the sun at first, but I would like to get that shot just in case it does thaw out too much. But I think once we get down there, we can get some of the um, trees and reflections while we wait. But that's the shot that I want to get. I'm tempted to go for a different angle today, just so it's slightly different. And I was a bit too excited when all the mist and everything was going on last time. And sort of in between where the tree is and where I am, there's a pipe that comes out into the water and it just looks not very good. Pretty horrible, in fact. So I think if we can be in a position to avoid that altogether, like we can look down here, get the tree on the left, get the fence posts in the middle, get the edge of this uh, patch of grass on the right hand side. So we'll see if this frames up okay, and then have a bit of a play around. So I've got the camera set up now. I've sort of come back a little bit further towards Elta Water this time and I'm using the 135mm instead rather than the 100 because I've got a polarizer for this lens and I've got the adapters so I can put my ND filters on so I might try one with the six stop while we're waiting get that mist there moving across that might look quite nice Give that a try. So I've sort of got it framed up, like I mentioned before. I thought that pipe was further down. It's actually like right in front of me now, but I can avoid it here. And there was a few ducks on the water a minute ago, but fortunately they've gone. So it should go a bit, a bit stiller now. So let's give this a try. That's running now, and it's given me a 15 second uh, shutter speed. So that should sort of make the water more clear, like make the reflection stand out a bit more. But hopefully you can see the, the mist moving over the water. At least that's how it looks in my head. We'll find out in a minute. And then what I'm gonna do after this is because the sun should rise up there, I might swap over to a slightly wider lens and then we can get that in as well. But we'll have to change compositions for that one to work just to avoid that pipe. But we'll see how it goes. So I've changed my composition slightly. Um, I've still got the 135mm on and I've got the two stop soft ND grad. What I'm waiting for now is that sun which is behind them trees to come and light up the side of that tree like it did last time. That's the picture I've got in my head anyway, so that's what I'm waiting for, but it's quite nice. I wasn't that keen on the six stop filter. Um, it was a bit too soft for my liking. I'm not a big fan of it. It's not massively bright anyway, so we've got, still got quite a slow shutter speed. We're at about a second, so it's still, cancelling out some of the 
like little specks of dirt in the, in the water, but it's about where I want it. So I'm just going to wait here, keep taking shots of this tree, and then hopefully that sun comes in from the side and makes the shot. It's a nice morning though, so I'm happy whatever. Well, it was looking quite promising, but it doesn't actually look like the sun's going to come up and hit the back of the tree this time. But it does look like these geese are going to go into the shot. So, I might change plans slightly and we'll have to bump up the ISO a bit to get a shutter speed that'll get these in focus. We could probably get this flock of geese going through or we could try and do like a like a, a geese trail. No, that sounds horrible. We'll, um, no, we'll try and get them in focus. I think that'll be the best way. So I think we'll go for a similar shot, but just with geese. I think it actually looked better without the geese, which is what I was expecting. But there is the sheep walking down the path behind them. So maybe they can like get the sheep walking back and then get the geese in the foreground with the mist in the tree and it'll still look nice. It's not what I wanted, but I'll take it. I think I've had the best of the light there now. It didn't quite work out how I wanted it to, but I still like the shots. The geese weren't what I wanted, but a bit of nature in the shots isn't a bad thing. So I think what I'm going to do now is just try and find some other compositions. Like we can look up at the fells with the trees and the uh, clouds that are in the valley. So let's wander that way and see what we can see. It's happened again. Um, just as I got my stuff packed up, the sun came out and it's on the side of the tree a bit now. It's not as bright as I had in my head, but I'll take it. Now, we could stay there, but I think we should move and get a different shot. And then we don't have all of the same thing. So I should have carried my camera over. We'll grab my camera and then walk over there. It's not quite as vibrant now we've got everything set up, but it keeps coming and going. So I think it's worth just waiting here until it's right again. Yeah, like it's coming out brighter again now. So what I'm doing for this shot is I'm focusing on the tree and I'm underexposing slightly. The last time I had some problems with the bracketing, like it put some weird um, like reflections into the water. But the bit of sky that I can see, there's no detail there anyway. It's just like a white, white cloud. So what I'm going to do is just underexpose slightly and not worry about that cloud and just expose for the ground because that's what's important to me on this shot. I'm happy with those ones now, and I think I got here at the right time. When I was photographing here, I was here with a couple other photographers, but now there's probably 12 over there. And, uh, oh no. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go the other way going to go down to the side of Elta Water and see how that looks. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the Langdales today, but you might be able to get some shots of the trees or the reflections. Uh, no, we'll keep on going. My favourite views are over there, so I'm struggling to walk away, but I want to get a mixture of shots really. I was wrong. You can just about see the Langdales. You can see it sticking up through the clouds. 
So I grabbed a quick shot of that. It's not like it's not what I'd call a print filter, but it's still nice to look at. And you get in the clouds in the valley. I think it's going to be pretty hit and miss here now though. There's going to be nice bits like that and then it's going to go flat and bar in. So I think I'm going to end the video here. I'll do a blog post as well over on adamcapper.co.uk with all the photos from today and with what I get next. It's just, I always miss them when I'm trying to do two things. So I'll try and do that well. So I hope you like the video. Um, I've got a feeling some of them might be available as prints so I'll put a link to that down below but I hope you liked the video please hit the like button and subscribe if you did and I'll see you next time